Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. Today we are in Proverbs chapter 4, verses 7 through 10. Tyler. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom and whatever else you get, get insight. Prize her highly and she will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. She will place on your head a fair garland. She will bestow on you a beautiful crown. Hear my child and accept my words that the years of your life may be many. All right. So, uh, you can say this kind of ties in with yesterday. Yeah, that's kind of the way the Proverbs work. Beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom and whatever else you get, get insight. You can know a proverb, but if you don't actually know what it means, uh, it's almost the same as if you didn't know it in the first place. Um, you say, well, give me an example. I don't know. Most of the proverbs I know, I've figured out what they mean. And the proverbs that I haven't been able to figure out, it's like, oh, well, either it's not a very good proverb or, um, you know, uh, one one proverb, you know, Tyler, uh, this, is a, this is a business kind of proverb, a financial proverb. Tyler, don't trip over a dollar to pick up a dime, son. What's that mean? You should pick up a dollar first. Okay. And some people will. They'll they'll trip over a dollar to pick up a dime. Now, Tyler says you should pick up a dollar first. Okay. And if we're not tripping on it, because then you get the dollar and the dime. You get the dollar and the dime. Tyler, if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Okay. You know what that one means? Kind of. Okay. And, and you say, no, this is a, a homophonic play on words. Back when we used to use sense, you know. That's what I said. If, you're not, if it's not making you money, there's no point in doing it. That's why it doesn't make sense in either form. If you're a business, if you're a business and your primary goal as a business is to put up large profits, then whatever's not making you money dollars does not make good sense and you say you for one yeah you know, so <clears throat> proverbs you need to understand what they mean you said you have other proverbs i do some of them i can't repeat though because i learned them from a different time in my life but they're still wisdom it's just really worldly um you say well don't you know any godly wisdom i do like what? Um, everything in the book of Proverbs. Um, all of Jesus' Proverbs. All the Proverbs in the Bible, they're all godly. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but I gave you two simple ones about economics because that's the point. They're simple. Um But if you don't heed it, it will make things more difficult than it needs to be. And the, the, the point, and this ties in with what we said yesterday. Hear my child and accept my words that the years of your life may be many. Um, Proverbs spends a lot of time, what, what, what one relationship, not God, does Ty, uh, Proverbs spend a huge amount of time on, Tyler? Uh, with your father? Nope. Hmm. Women of questionable repute and young men. Ah. Uh -huh. And you say, Psh, everybody knows that. If everybody knows that, then how come fornication is rampant everywhere in the culture? Proverbs will tell you. You know, don't fool around with married lady because you may not be able to, you know, pacify her husband when he comes to shoot you. Okay. Sounds logical. Yeah. yeah. You said, well, if Solomon, yeah, Solomon, you know, he might have learned that from his dad. I don't know where he got it. Probably the Lord gave it to him. But point being, you know, that one that one puts a time frame on your life. <laughs> You know, don't taunt a bull that you can't outrun in his field. You say, is that a book of Proverbs saying? No. But, 
you know, I was told leave the bull in the field alone, especially if it ain't your field and it ain't your bull. <laughs> Why? You say, have you ever tested that one? No. No. Why? Because I'd like my life to be long. Because if it ain't my field and it ain't my bull, and I'm out there and don't nobody know it, uh, son, so much could go wrong and I might not make it out of there. <laughs> so, you have some other thoughts on this? No, sir. Do you have any proverbly wisdom that you want to share with us on this? Not off the top of my head. Not off the top of your head. Off the bottom of your shoe? No. All right. Tyler's got clean shoes. I do. That's why he doesn't have anything to share. With that, I'm Brian Reagan. He's Tyler Kelly. And we bid you good morning, Lord, when we see you at about 1230.